okay first off i want to apologize for the lighting and i can't hear out of this ear right now for some reason this happened last pregnancy and it keeps happening this time around oh there we go i can hear okay um sorry <laughs> it was really weird last pregnancy i was it was really strange for like a couple months like i couldn't hear out of i don't remember which year it was i think it was this year i couldn't hear out of it like i was like like you know when you go up and you have to like pop your ears it's like i couldn't get it to pop and it was like a cloudy i don't know it was it was a pain anyway um i am 31 weeks and this is my 31 week bump date i meant to do a bump date last week um for 30 weeks since my last one was at 28 weeks i wanted to do it every two weeks but it was just crazy hectic we had riley's birthday and i just by the time i had a chance to sit down and, and film it it was already sunday and at that point I was like, well now I'm only two days away from being 31 weeks, so I'm just gonna wait. So now I am 31 weeks and two days today, I believe. So I'm here today. Um, the baby is the size of a coconut, according to this app. it's He is 18 inches and anywhere from about three to four pounds. Um, so yeah, I'm starting to feel very pregnant like I'm starting to feel pregnant up until this point up until the last couple weeks um I just haven't I haven't felt pregnant like I the first trimester I didn't get I didn't deal with morning sickness or anything um the second trimester was an absolute breeze and I feel like my bump didn't even start showing up until about 28 weeks anyway um and it's just like I haven't felt pregnant like it's just been like obviously I can feel his movements and everything but it hasn't like it hasn't felt like a pregnancy up until this last couple weeks. Now I am starting to feel pregnant, and I'm starting to feel pregnancy. Um, my bladder is <laughs> the size of a pea. It feels like I can't even get through a full bottle of water without having to pee. I will like sit down and I'll have I'll be eating breakfast and I'll I'll have like I'll get through like half a water bottle and I'll have to go pee. Um, during my workouts <laughs> when I'm sipping on water trying to keep hydrated I'll do like an hour-long workout and within that hour. I have to pause to go to the restroom like Three times during an hour workout just because I'm, I'm drinking and I'm keeping myself hydrated and whatever um, Yeah, my bladder is just it's it's wee bit and like I'll, I'll go to the bathroom and I feel like I feel like a lot of it's just because of the pressure is getting on there um from him just starting to weigh like a decent amount um, because like half the time when I go to the bathroom there's just not even that much in there but like it feels like I have to pee and plus he's just a really weird pregnancy to begin with he likes to like kick straight down now I'm not sure if he's flipped or not yet um, hopefully that's something we'll figure out at our next um, we're gonna get an, an elective ultrasound in a couple weeks within the next week or two yeah um, we're doing an, an, electro, an elective ultrasound, so I'll be excited to see whether he's flipped or not. I can't tell if he's flipped or not. I, I don't think he has, just because I, I get like, either he's kicking it or he's punching it. If he's flipped, maybe it's him punching it. I don't know, but he likes to punch, like, he doesn't like to punch, like, my actual, like, belly. Like, he likes to punch, like, down and in there where, like, only I can feel. It's like, I don't know, it's really weird. Um... Cause like only I can feel it from like the inside. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> um, very different. I, I didn't have to deal with that with Riley. She just like she was normal. She liked to kick out and just like I don't know. Um, another thing is this. <laughs> um, I started to notice a shortness of breath. Um, very much so. Like just doing nothing. Like just sitting here talking to you. Like I've noticed that I'm just. I'm starting to feel that crowding sensation as everything is getting up higher and higher and higher and more crowded. Um, I'm definitely starting to feel the effects of that, which I don't think I felt that up until about like 35 weeks, like the last month with Riley, but I'm already starting to feel it this time around. And another thing is that, like I said, he's just so different than Riley. He likes to do this thing where like I can feel his entire body just shift upwards and I can see it on my belly where he just he just shifts like he'll go from like being in the middle like normal and he'll just like curl himself up into a ball as far up pot as, as he possibly can um and I can feel my lungs tighten and it's just it's very uncomfortable another thing 
not so fun part is um, veins. <laughs> I recently the other week found a giant vein in this on this boob. It's massive. It's a massive, massive vein. When I first saw it, the first night that I noticed it, I actually Googled because I was like freaking myself out because it's so big that it looks like it's gonna like burst. Like it doesn't look normal. It's such a big vein. It's not that big right now, but um, like every now and then, like I'll notice it's like, it's huge. And then another thing is stretch marks. Um, and what's weird about these stretch marks is most of the time your stretch marks go up and down, right? Well, I'm getting stretch marks that are going, wait, that's vertical, horizontal. I'm getting stretch marks that are going horizontal. Like they're not super defined stretch marks yet or anything and they're not red or anything, but I can see what's be the beginning of what I think are vertical or horizontal stretch marks, which is so weird, but it makes sense because I'm carrying much wider this time rather than like out. Yeah, I'm carrying wide rather than out. Um, and also, like I said, he likes to shift up a lot. And so I'm getting stretch marks like right, right under my, my bra, like right under my boob, which is so weird. Like who gets stretch marks up that high? Um, so weird to me. Also, I am starting to feel that first trimester tiredness again. Um, I remember my first trimester, I remember talking about how I, after a certain point of the day, I'm just dead to the world like I just my I'm like exhausted and I need a nap and it's hard for me to keep my eyes open I'm starting to feel that again I got my you know typical second trimester burst of energy and then now I'm starting to feel whereby seven o'clock ish like my brain starts to shut off my body starts to shut off everything in me just starts to just shut off and I'm just I, I'm like not even here I'm like half half here and half asleep, I guess. Um, my pregnancy brain kicks in to full, like full effect. Like the other day I was making microwavable meatballs for Jake and I sat there and I made four different batches of meatballs. Micro four different batches of microwave meatballs. I went through the entire bag and I only got one serving out of it because four different times I read that package over, several times. So probably more than four times, probably like eight times I read it over and I could have Sworn to you, I could have sworn up and down. Obviously, I did because I, I did it four different times. That the bag said to microwave six meatballs for six minutes. Well, each time I made I made four different batches, and each time they came out like rock hard and like they smelt burnt. And I was like, this can't, this isn't right. Um, turns out, I, Jake's parents were here, and I I was like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. And um, turns out it says six meatballs for one minute. Um, <laughs> it was like eight o'clock at night and at that point I was just dead. Um, but yeah, I microwaved meatballs, four different batches of meatballs before I realized I was doing it wrong. That's what I mean by like my brain just shuts off. It just shuts off, it's, it's just gone. Um, <laughs> another thing I've noticed is an increased appetite. This has just been within the last two weeks. I've just noticed that in general, I'm just more hungry, I have a bigger appetite. I'll eat dinner, and then by the time I'm laying down cuddling with Riley, about three hours later, my stomach's growling again. And a lot of the times I tell, I tell myself, I'm like, oh, maybe I'm just thirsty, maybe I haven't drinking enough. Because you know how like sometimes you can mistake um, thirst for hunger? Yeah, that's right, not hung hunger for thirst, thirst. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you can mistake, like your, your body thinks that you're hungry, but you're actually just thirsty. So like I'll chug a bottle of water and like all it'll make me do is it'll make me have to piss. And then I'm still like, my stomach's still growling and I'm just like, why are you hungry? Like I ate a good dinner. I don't know. But that's another thing is that my increased appetite, my increased appetite, my decreased energy, um, my veins and stretch marks, my shortness of breath and my bladder all have me feeling very pregnant <laughs> um, I guess is what I is what it, it comes down to I just I'm starting to feel pregnant um, uh, I'm gonna show you my bump really quick and then that should be it okay there's that bump I feel like 
Maybe he's kind of lower than normal today. I don't know. Anyway, um, I think that's it. Uh, see you guys at, I might do a bump date next week. Maybe not, depending on what happens at my appointment. Or I might save it until 33 weeks. But either way, I'll see you guys within a couple more weeks. Uh, thanks so much for watching.